when the new electoral law came to be we were like oh thank you lord thank you lord thank you our savior has come now we don't know whether that electoral law is the savior or not our problem you remember the good turnout of voters that we had this year during the presidential election it was because of the new electoral law and the promises made by INEC. now why people come out do their pvc come and say me they come vote at the end of the day we all saw what happened this off cycle election it, 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 don't, it don't repeat itself now so i don't really know i don't really know i don't want to talk too much i beg uh -huh. make could not help me now the report now the reports now talking too much no day for this matter they could help me listen to the governorship candidate of the Labour Party inside Imo State and wait him gas talk. Because me, I don't understand why they rush and declare winner of the election when there are controversies surrounding the election, which can be easily resolved. Listening to governorship candidates of Labour Party inside Imo State, Ethan Achon, watch. There was no vote in so many uh, local governments in, in the state. And the places where we voted, they carried, they refused to upload the results. Claiming, you see, claiming that uh, it wasn't uploading. In some places, when the youth got restive and, and wanted to attack them, the state started uploading automatically. So, and then finally, they didn't want to collate at the World Collation Centers. It was planned. And these were the assurances they gave us before this election. So there was no election, as a matter of fact. Then they carried all collation to local government, uh, uh, some to local government headquarters, very few to INEC uh, uh, local government offices. And when they got there, they banned all the other uh, uh, party agents allowed only party agents, APC store administrators, APC officials, commissioners gained entry. Meanwhile, all other parties were shut up by the security agencies that are supposed to protect the process. When I hear with him talk, how the coalition they were supposed to do, what level they carry up, enter local government, and some places they carry enter INEC office for the local government, Go around their matter. Then barricade everywhere. Nobody is allowed to enter apart from their people and the security agencies. We they don't summon money. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, I hear the English. Allegedly, who <laughs> are they? Now so it be now. We the hear a mass rumor that before the election, but this one now you don't come out, you don't clear yourself. See, 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 happen. <laughs> Make I say remind and I say the governor who puts on them are one in twenty seven local twenty seven out of twenty seven he cleared everywhere. So the other people that contested with him, the their own local government they involved. They are in fact they are not from any local government in most states because even their own local government who puts on them are cleared everything, including their villages. <laughs> uh, he gave one sweet message. We. We we come as a result of all this rubbish. Who oh, don't they see inside our elections? We thought it was over during the presidential election, but no, it was not over. They don't carry them now. Come repeat them for this off cycle uh, election. I beg. He gave one guy who go talk. Rufayo saying all of Nanua. You not listen to it. This guy talk as regards how our election has now become because. He, 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 this is becoming a becoming, you know, it's becoming a problem. Listen to Rufai Yoseni. When we come back, we will talk some more. One thing is certain, if we made any gains from 2015 elections, we have lost everything today. And we are back to square one. And I have to ask Einek, what is the matter? Why is it that our elections are this way? The shenanigans reported in this election is something of biblical proportions. Yaga released a report asking INEC in Imo that some local governments that they said the election was not going to hold, how come their results appeared on IRF? I ask INEC again, what is the matter? Is it that we can't conduct elections that are peaceful? 
Also, the security authorities, in some regards, they tried, but in some regards, they didn't do well. Have we built a society now that we just need to kill as much as possible to be able to win elections? And if we claim we want to serve the people, then what's the way forward? We really have also come out to condemn these elections. We have seen how the process has gone in Imo. Some of the other parties, other governors have congratulated Governor Uzodima. But like I asked in the last election, for those that have won, what did we win now? Did we win the confidence of the people and the hope in the electoral process or we won the annoyance and the disdain and the repulsion of the people as regards how the electoral process has gone? Same problem again in the last election is what is repeating itself again not wanting to upload to the IRF. So why do we put up the IRF in the first place if you're going to have allegations of people not wanting to upload to the IRF? This selective uploading. And these are the questions I asked on Friday here. So what do we want for our country? Is this the kind of democracy we want to practice? When I hear we to the any talk, very simple. He captured my mind and the mind of most Nigerians. Money was spent on IREV. Money was spent on beavers. Billions of Naira. You know the work. You know the user. These are ways to mitigate against uh, what do they call it? election malpractice and the rest of them. And now why we push money enter there. But it can't be like say it is useless. It's of no use. Because all these issues where they come up now very simple matter with beavers and IREV go sort out. For centuries, the Ijele has been a revered masquerade in Igboland, a predominant tribe in southern Nigeria. The Ijele is a grand spectacle that commands respect, awe and celebration. Today, Innocent Vehicles brings you the Ijele in a new form. A majestic, robust and monolithic pickup truck designed to leave an indelible mark in the annals of automotive history. The Innocent Ijele is equipped with a powerful 3.0L turbo engine and 4WD to conquer any terrain with ease. Make way for the Innocent Ijele, Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads. As it stands now, if we go by the guidelines of that new electoral law, forget it. If you lose, you're gonna say you lose. Nobody gonna make noise. Oh, what they hear me? The results that will be uploaded, the security agencies are with a copy. Oh. So, as we talk now, say, election not happen here, election not happen here. Uh, the security agencies, where is the Resource sheet that was given to you people by INEC after they don't do their coalition, right? For what level, right? Sign all party agents, sign security is supposed to who one copy. Where is that copy where they give you? We don't know if you come out now, talk to you. Hey, hey, election happen here, it no happen here, it happen here, it no happen here to help INEC since INEC is for me, say, uh, they are helpless. Are you, are you getting the point? Very simple. Then it will be uploaded on IRF. People will go IRF go see their results. What are they hear me? Uh, beavers accredited will accredit voters. The numbers will be in the beavers to checkmate over voting and the rest. all captured in the new electoral law. What is now our problem? Corruption. We don't want it to flourish. We don't want it to work. How about now? And to make it talk, it's very simple. The leadership inside this country. If you want our electoral uh, uh, beginning one act to work, it go work. But now because they all of you now don't plan on herself. Because any police will enter now, don't they plan for the next three years or four years? That is the problem. I go see on a later beg you.